Hi and welcome to today's B tutorial. Today we're going to walk through how to connect your B Pro account to SendGrid so that you can design any email you want in B just as you normally would, but then you can push it over to SendGrid so send it with SendGrid. So the first thing we need to do to get started making this connection is log into SendGrid. Once you're here, all you have to do is go down to the settings menu, go to API keys, create an API key. You'll want full access. Oh, we also need to name it, so we'll name it vPro. And we can continue. By tapping here, we're copied it, and we're done. Once you have your API key copied, that's what you'll need to make the connection over in vPro. So now I'm gonna go over to vPro. I'm already logged in and I'm gonna go ahead and manage my connectors. This is where we have the same menu where we connected with Gmail and with MailChimp before. Two free connectors that you can use again to connect B with the ESP of your choice. To connect to SendGrid, you just tap it. It's going to be a one-time $50 fee to make the connection. So go ahead and approve that. And now SendGrid is part of your account. Now to push the email over, if you have a B Pro Agency account, what you can do is actually connect SendGrid to the brand of your choice. So that means that each brand can have its own kind of connection, for instance, to its own SendGrid account. So if you have a client that has a specific SendGrid account, you can connect it there. So we'll go to one brand that has an example we can push through. And once you're in that folder, just go to settings, scroll down to the connectors section, and we're going to finish the installation here. Hit install. I want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked and then go ahead and connect. This saved my token from before. I'm going to enter the new one now, paste it in, and say connect account. And it's that easy. So this window automatically closes. And then all I need to do, since this is connected, is go back over to my projects here. And once it's open, I can export. Export to an ESP. And SendGrid appears now as an option for me. You can choose a transactional or a marketing type of email. I'm going to choose transactional. Go ahead and confirm the push. And then it should appear pretty quickly over in SendGrid. So I'm going to go back to SendGrid. And I'm going to navigate now to templates, transactional. And here's the, the push that I made. So it's here. I can go ahead and send it or I can go ahead and preview it. I can also edit it. If you want to get a look at the email, you can go ahead and open it up. And here we are. So that's how easy it is to go ahead and push your B designed emails, whether it's a custom email, a template email, whatever you make in B, you can push now not only to MailChimp, but also, or to Gmail, but also to SendGrid. It's just that one time $50 fee, you can go ahead and make the connection and you're up and running.